when we get to an introduction, what we're primarily looking for is we want to set the scene for the body that's going to follow. So what we're looking for is we want to start off with a statement that is interesting. In psychology, typically this is going to be a statistic that relates to what you're looking at. So it might be 33% of boys like to jump higher than girls. Whatever the statement is, start off with something which grabs attention and holds it there. From there, you want to move into setting up what are the key terms that you're going to be using in there. If there's any key terms, the introduction is the key place to set that up. If you're looking to save words and your word count is very tight, the introduction is also going to be the place where you set up and use your acronyms. Now, according to the APA code, you're going to need to say the whatever word it is in full once. So it might be something like mindfulness-based stress reduction, which you want to shorten to MBSR. Do it in the introduction so that you can then save those three words every time you use that term throughout. Other things you can do in an introduction is basically finish off, well, should do, is finish off in a way that it flows into the body. So you want to set the scene. Remember something here. Your marker is probably marking yours out of 50 to a couple of hundred assignments. They're bored. Make the assumption that they're bored. Try and make your introduction something that puts them in a positive mood and really just leads them into the body of your text. So ideally, to sum up, what you're going to want is your first statement, make it a statistic or a fact that is just an interesting attention grabber for somebody who is potentially bored. Flow that into your key terms and, and uh, key terms that you're planning on using. Set up in the introduction any acronyms that you want to use. You can do it later, but if it's possible, set it up in the introduction. And then finish off with something which quite easily links through. It might be some sort of a statement of, this study seeks to look at the comparison between using power drills or handheld drills in an underground setting. I made that up because I can see a drill, but the bottom line is that leads you into your, let's, let's say it's a random controlled trial where you're gonna talk in your body about power drills versus handheld drills, and it flows into it quite nicely. If you're in a position where you are not allowed to use headings and subheadings, making your paragraphs flow between each other and thinking about how easily the reader can go straight from one paragraph into the next is key to make sure there's no hiccups or snags. snags. That's what we're going to focus on for the introduction. The, use that as a template to set out just a punchy introduction that gets you into your body as quickly as possible. Hopefully that helps, and maybe if I've got time, I'll set up an actual template and try and get it into the comments, or maybe have it just follow as an image after this. But thanks for your time. Hopefully that helps you in writing your introduction.